All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crypto Coffee and Lo-Fi. Hope you all enjoyed the weekend. Um, so just recapping what I went over in the previous episode. Um, let's start on the higher time frames here just for the new people that are joining us. So... I'm essentially just using the same pattern to find accumulation and distribution support and resistance and i'm using that same pattern for my entry triggers so what is that pattern think of a head and shoulders so we have a high the high is swept we then break below the low that's responsible for taking the high and then we retest if on the retest we can form the same pattern again that's distribution now there are a few other aspects to this but i won't go over that if you're interested in any of this click the link in the description below pick up a copy of the strategy but Let's take a look at Bitcoin on the H4 here. So we swept out of these equal highs, breaking below the lows responsible for taking those highs. And then once we retest, we form the same pattern again here. So here we have a high. Here's the lows responsible for taking that high. We come up, sweep it, and then break below. And then no coincidence, we come back, test it to the dollar. Okay, and form the same pattern again. Now I've been posting this all on Twitter um, for months. Okay, I was posting it. If you go back and check the episodes from April and from May, you can see I was bullish all in this range. And then once we started to drop off, I was looking for distribution, which we got. And then I was bearish the entire way down. We have this range here. We still need to test. So I'll just pause that. So we've come up, we've tested the distribution and then we've redistributed again. So that's just telling me that we're pretty much prepping for lower prices here. Now, I just want to make one thing very clear. Just because I'm calling the distribution doesn't mean that I'm not long in this zone and doesn't mean that I'm not long in this zone. For example, I was long here and you can go check the episodes, the previous episodes. I was long on a bunch of alts and got stopped out. I was long on a bunch of alts yesterday and I got stopped out. Just because I anticipate the distribution doesn't mean that I'm not buying with the anticipation that we're going to continue up. The reason for that is because even though I was waiting for a move above this high where I was expecting a sell-off. We still had, my strategy was still printing long signals. So there's a lesson in that. And I guess it's important to always favor the actual setup over what you think is going to happen. Now here's an example of it not playing out, but obviously there are a lot more examples of this working in my favor. So even though I took losses all in this zone and I took losses all in this zone, I still followed my strategy. Now, however, we've pretty much confirmed the distribution. So I'm expecting a further sell-off. So now I can look for shorts, right? So we swept out the double hot, the double top, breaking below, retesting, forming the same pattern again, retesting to the dollar, forming the same pattern again, retesting and then distributing and selling off. Now there is one line of support that I'm watching. We are headed into um, London Open. So let's see how the daily or the hourly closes here. So we have a sweep of this low right here, breaking above the highs responsible for taking that low right here. And now we're just retesting the candle that swept that level right here. So there is a chance this could be the bottom and we shoot up from here. Um, I doubt it just because if we take a look at the H4, it's obviously, depending on how we close, we have 17 minutes left, but it's not looking too bullish at the moment. And especially if we go over to ETH, similar story here. Uh, we have all of these equal lows resting below. Um, and there's not really any sign of support, support being just the same pattern. So a sweep of a low, then a retest. So if we move up above and then we start to retrace, I would say that this is the level of support right here. So on Bitcoin, we have that level of support. Ethereum, we don't. So I'm thinking that if we see a move up, it'll just be temporary when we'll then sell off. Um, however, this is just my analysis. So even though I'm expecting a sell off, I still need to wait on the entry trigger. So for Bitcoin, what would the entry trigger look like? It would look like a retest of this level. 
and the same pattern forming again. So I could be wrong. Obviously, we could just head up here. Um, if I am wrong, though, if this is bullish and this level is going to hold, then expect something like this on the lower time frames. And if we do get that, then we can look to long into this level. And as long as we don't then redistribute at this level, then we should be good to continue up. If we do continue up and we do see the accumulation and we don't see distribution here, expect this high to be taken. Then once this high is taken, expect this high and then we can look for the bull market to continue. However, favoring shorts, I think once we do retest, retest this level, we can drop down. Looking at um, AVAX. Where is it? So when we move up above all time highs and then we start to see signs of distribution, that's normally a sign that we're getting ready for a sell off. It may not be a full um, bear market, but it may just mean that price is getting ready for a decent sized retrace. So here we had the previous all time high breaking out of this bull flag. But then once we break above, we start to distribute. Still not enough evidence just yet for me to get short. But if we see something like this, Then I would expect the market to sell off below this low all the way down to $20. Um, but da, da, da. if I'm wrong, and if Bitcoin and ETH both want to continue up from here, then we do have some lower time frame bullish levels around this zone. If we see the reaccumulation right here, I'll ditch my bearish bias temporarily. As long as we don't then see the distribution at this level, then we should be good to continue up into around $100 and then we can go from there. So I'm trying not to confuse you all too much with this analysis. We do have one bullish level here on Bitcoin. If we can see some reaccumulation here on the lower time frames, we should be good to continue up. Um, if we continue up, just making sure that we don't redistribute from this level. If we do, then expect to drop down, take out these lows. Hopefully we can then reaccumulate at around 40K. If we don't um, reaccumulate here, then I would expect to head much lower to around 30. No worries, guys. If you enjoy the episode, like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in the way that I'm trading, in the, in the way that I'm analyzing the charts, just using this one pattern, click the link in the description below, pick up a copy of the strategy, get access to a Discord, see all my live trades. I have over 300 people all trading the same pattern, working on the same strategy. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.